Hi everyone, welcome to this tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're gonna write a program of word occurrence, which we have already covered in our previous session. So in this session, we're gonna perform this operation by using by using stream API. So we have to find the occurrence count of each word as given here, right? So we have input something like this, and we have to find uh, like how many time each word count is uh, occurring. So as you can see, every one is three time, one, two, three. High is only one time in this input, and how is two times. So likewise, each word uh, will be having its own occurrence count. Guys is only one time, which is occurring at the last of this input sentence. So uh, let's do that by using stream API. So let's get started. Let's write main method where uh, we're gonna create one variable of string type where we'll be keeping this input sentence. So let's use the same sample input. Now we have uh, we have input here. Now we have to convert this input string into stream of string. So to do that, we have to use here. Uh, we have to convert this basically input string into uh, initially we have to convert this into uh, string array <coughs> because stream will not work on single uh, string type so for that what we're gonna do here is we will be using split method of string class and it is expecting one input parameter for jigs so it is saying on basis on what para uh, what delimiter you want to split your string so as uh, in our string we have spaces in between of each word so we will be giving that as a delimiter so that we will be able to split our string into string array so it will be returning you string array this is nothing but input string array right now uh, we have splitted our string and we have created a uh, string array now we will be converting this string uh, this string array into stream api uh, into st stream of string so we have stream stream dot off this this off is a static method uh, which is there in uh, your stream interface so if you go in inside this off method see so it is expecting uh, like genic type of input and it will return you the uh, stream of genic type like whatever type you will be passing here it will return the same type of but convert your uh, it will convert your input into stream right so and you can see this stream is nothing but it is an interface Yes, stream of uh, interface of stream. This T is again genic type. So the type which you will be passing, it will be taking that type. So now we have to convert uh, this input string array into stream of array. And let's create a local variable. So this is string stream, right? So now we have uh, we have string array, we have uh, st string stream. Now we can we can perform operation on the string stream. So let's do that. String stream dot. We'll be using collect method, which is expecting, right? We have this collected method is overloaded method. So if you again check this. So we have to use uh, this first one. Okay, just a second. Supplier. I think uh, we have to use this first one, yes. So here we have to pass here collectors dot grouping by. So grouping by is nothing. It will be aggregating your function, your data, and uh, giving you the uh, uh, unique record so on basis on basis of what you are trying to group 
so that we'll be discussing so we are uh, grouping by using our key so you can see grouping by uh, again has overload method one is expecting function and collector another one is function and uh, uh, classifier and a third one is again these are the overload method we'll be using this uh, first one uh, sorry second one so we'll be passing here function dot identity this identity is nothing but it will be uh, expecting it will not expect any input but it will, it will return you the uh, same object with the unique record right and another uh, input parameter is i think you can see this here okay so another parameter is collector collector start uh, counting this counting is nothing but it will be keep packing the record of your uh, count so see it is taking a long as input and it will be uh, summing your uh, it will be adding the new value with existing value if it is not unique if it is unique it will be adding this the value as one at a first uh, correspond to your key so this is nothing but a key so key will be these uh, words and this counting will be the occurrence count of each word now uh, we okay so let's collect this in one of the another variable so what it, it is basically returning you it is returning you uh, the map of string and log means map of key and value pair so key value uh, word map right now what we're gonna do here is <clears throat> so by using this uh, word map we're gonna uh, call entry set which is a part of a uh, map so this entry set has uh, again for each method this is uh, uh, which is expecting uh, consumer as an input so we will be passing input as system dot out dot print ln where we will be using basically key and value pair which this where i mean that key value pair we will be extracting from entry set so let's use entry set object and we'll be extracting key and value get value right now uh now i think uh, this is done so let's try uh, executing this so we have converted our uh, single input string into string array and then string array we have converted into stream of string and we have performed the operation on this uh, uh, like st stream string right and uh, we have converted this into map uh, by passing the key value pair means we have created a key value pair here uh, this will be holding the unique record of each uh, unique record of these sentences uh, these words with the occurrence count of each uh, key and then we are printing it by using for each loop so let's compare this now now everyone is three time here right everyone is three time and how is two time high is one time r is two time and guys is one time and you is two time right so this output is working fine so what we can we can do here is as we are using uh, like uh, nine or ten lines of code let's reduce this reduce this instead of using this we can directly call uh, we can try to like reduce the line of code here so that is what i'm trying to do control x right let's remove these two lines now it is returning you map so instead of keeping it here we can directly use entry set in this line the same parallel uh, same uh, pipeline so let's press enter 
so it won't be returning anything your last method is a for each method right uh, so this is this won't be returning you any value <coughs> let's delete this as well right now you can run your program again any okay okay you, ha you have to check what what it is returning right so as we discussed right uh, this input stream is retain this this uh, stream of uh, method is returning you uh, string string stream right and this collect is returning you the map of uh, string and key value pair and then you have converted your uh, map into entry set so this this is returning you the set of map which is containing a uh, basically key value pair by using this entry set you are converting your uh, object into key value pair which uh, which is which you are printing on the console so let's run this again and uh, we can verify uh, what output we are getting whether we are getting the same output as we have uh, reduced the line of code so it's similar right everyone is three time everyone is three time r is two time high is one time how is two time and u r u is two time so guys is only one time so that's fine now so this this input you might be getting when you are uh, dealing with your file system like when you have some you're reading data from uh, your text file uh, text file right so um, but let's say if you are fetching data from db or something so you might be having list something like okay, let me comment this out <coughs> excuse me so you might be having list of uh, stream right and you have input here so you might be having um, similar value but instead of this you'll be having okay arrays dot as list i'm converting this array into list so i'm passing this array or instead of using this we can use some different input to verify because it will take time if i'll be keep adding these double quotes in each value so here i what i have to do here is i have to add like fruits name banana orange well, and mango again apple so i'm trying to add duplicate value into it so that we'll be able to find the occurrence count of uh, those duplicate values so again orange and orange so we have banana uh, two time we have orange i guess three time yes we have apple two time and mango and yeah mango is one time only so instead of using this split method as it is it is already a list of uh, string so no need to convert this into um like i mean no need to split this into string array so we can direct pass here input right so now your what your uh, this method is doing it is returning you the list of uh, stream of string i mean you are converting your this input into uh, string i mean stream of list of string so let's run this or you have one another way right instead of using stream of input you can use input dot stream that will also do the same work right now you can see okay 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 so we are this is bit different because we have only single stream we have single uh, list so this won't work here what you can do you can use input dot stream now you're converting your this list this uh, list into uh, string stream right that is what we need 
now let's run this again <coughs> So you can see uh, banana is only two time, right? So here one banana and another banana is here. Orange, orange we have three time, one, two and three. So we have output as three time. Uh, apple is two time and banana, uh, mango is one time. Apple is two time, one and two and mango is only one time, right? So this is uh, this type of value you'll be getting when you are dealing with database you'll be getting uh, like list of object uh, list of uh, uh, string list of numbers or something so you'll be dealing with something similar to uh, this um, but you might have use case when you don't want to uh, print uh, word occurrence you want to like instead of printing this word occurrence you want to print orange as a list like if orange is three times you have to uh, print value as orange 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 banana is two times so instead of printing these bananas uh, as two you have to print banana banana and apple apple and mango is one time means key will be remain same but you have to print the list on, uh, as a value so in that case what you can do let me clear the console so you no need to pass this counting right because counting is the only value which is keep uh, on each aggregation we, uh, it, it is keep adding the values into it so you can remove this i think uh, i think this will work right so let's run this now now you are adding only key and by default your value will be that key itself with a duplicate uh, value right see so your orange is key and values which is uh, occurring three times is orange so this banana is occurring two time banana and banana right so these are the duplicate value which is occurring twice time and this is the unique value key is unique but your value is duplicate so this might be also use case uh, when you're working with your huge data so you might use the same set of uh, implementation right so that's pretty uh, good i guess so that's working fine so uh, that's it from this video guys thank you so much for watching this video uh, stay tuned for another videos thank you